sister's not coming back. He's, I don't feel his debt's paid. I don't think it ever will be. A Morristown family still hurting 38 years after their sister's murder. Now fearing the worst, that her killer could soon be set free. Mary Jones was only a teenager when she was brutally murdered and raped in Morristown back in 1980. Tonight, her family spoke with WBIR 10 News reporter Shannon Smith and says this case has never truly been closed. Shannon. Mary Jones was only 16 when she was lured by a man who was posing as an undercover cop. He took her into the woods where he killed and raped her. He's been in jail ever since. But what could be his final parole hearing is coming up next month and the Jones family is working to keep him behind bars. July 20th, 1980. I remember. I get this is a lot of motion. But. J.D. Jones was eight years old. His 16 year old sister, Mary, hadn't come home from the park. She never would. This is all of the crime scene information. For almost 38 years, Jones has collected crime scene reports, photographs, evidence of his sister's brutal murder. Randy Lee May was convicted of the crime two days later. July 22nd, 1980. May is currently serving 30 years in jail for murder and another 30 for attempted murder of Mary Jones' friend, Mitzi. And soon, he could be free. We go through it, you know, every few years. So. Parole hearings for May. Jones has been to several. And then we have to sit there, and uh, we're three feet away from him. And we have to listen to his version of the story, which I feel has never been the truth. Jones will attend the third parole hearing in three years next month. He thinks it'll be the last, based on what the parole board told the family. You know, they looked at us and said, He's going to get out. That's something Jones and countless people in Hamblin County don't want to see happen. Sheriff Esco Jarnigan sent a letter to the parole board Monday opposing May's release on parole. Others are doing the same. It changes the way that you raise your children. And Jones doesn't want to see May released from jail and hurt someone else the way he hurt his family. He's not the only bad person in the world, but he is a bad person. So I feel people need to know that, hey, he's, he's getting out. Jones family is hosting a protest and candlelight vigil at the Hamlin County Courthouse on Friday night. That's the anniversary of his sister's murder. Robin. All right, Shannon, thank you very much.